Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there was a beautiful princess named Luna. Luna was kind and caring, and she always tried to help anyone in need. One day, while she was walking in the woods, she stumbled upon a strange creature. Who are you? asked Luna, looking at the tiny creature. I'm a fairy, said the creature. And I'm in trouble. The evil witch has cursed our fairy kingdom, and we need your help to break the curse. Luna didn't hesitate. She knew she had to help the fairies. The fairy led her to the fairy kingdom, and Luna saw that the fairies were all sick and weak. What can I do to help? asked Luna. You must go on a quest to find the magical flower that can break the curse. Said the fairy, Luna set out on her quest and journeyed through the enchanted forest. She met a talking bird, a wise old owl, and a group of mischievous fairies who helped her along the way. After many days of traveling, Luna finally found the magical flower. But just as she was about to pluck it, the evil which appeared. Finally, Luna saw her chance and lunged forward with her sword. Ha! You thought you could break my curse? I won't let you, cackled the witch. Luna didn't give up. She knew she had to be brave and fight the witch. She took out her sword, and the witch began to cast spells. But Luna was quick and agile, and she dodged every spell. Finally, Luna saw her chance and lunged forward with her sword. Luna's heart sank as she saw the evil witch laid in blood, but then her eyes fell upon the magical flower. It was beautiful, with petals of the deepest purple and a sweet fragrance that filled the air. As she reached out to pluck it, she noticed something strange. The flower looked just like her mother, who had passed away many years ago. Luna hesitated, torn between her desire to break the curse and her love for her mother. The witch cackled again, sensing Luna's hesitation. Go on, pluck the flower, the witch sneered softly. I dare you. Luna looked around, but she couldn't see anyone. She felt a warm breeze, and then she knew. It was her mother's voice, Luna, you are strong, and you are brave, the voice continued. And you have a good heart. Luna, my dear, pluck the flower. It holds the power to save many lives, and it is worth it. Luna closed her eyes, took a deep breath, and reached for the flower. Luna was determined. With a swift motion, she plucked the flower, and a bright light enveloped her. When the light dissipated, Luna found herself standing in a beautiful garden filled with colorful flowers. Luna realized that the curse had been lifted, and she had saved the kingdom, overwhelmed with joy and relief. Luna clutched the flower tightly in her hand, and as she did, she felt her mother's presence once more. Luna knew that her mother was with her, watching over her, and guiding her every step of the way. From that day forward, Luna became known as the savior of the kingdom, and her bravery and selflessness were celebrated by all. But deep down, Luna knew that it was her mother who had given her the strength and courage to do what was right. As Luna returned to her kingdom, she shared the magical flower's power, and many lives were saved. Luna kept a small piece of the flower with her at all times, and whenever she looked at it, she was reminded of her mother's love and sacrifice. And so, Luna lived the rest of her days as a hero and a symbol of hope, inspiring generations to come with her story of courage, love, and selflessness. <laughs>